Alright, um, my name is Jonah. My name is Jonah. Mike Shag. Mike Shag. Right. My name is Jonah. My name, my name is, is Jonah. Jonah. And I'll be your facilitator for the evening. And I'll, I'll be, be your facilitator, facilitator for the evening. At, well, should we wait for everybody else? <laughs> You're the facilitator. Oh, there were, there's, there's a group right here. <laughs> Uh, I say at this time, we'll at this time, <laughs> this time, we'll be calling for volunteers. We'll be calling, calling for volunteers for assistance with uh, facilitation. For, for assistance, assistance with facilitation. facilitation. Uh, first of all, we need a moderator. First of all, we need a moderator. A moderator ensures that everyone in the process of facilitation is uh, remaining neutral. A moderator is responsible for making sure everybody is remaining neutral. Remaining neutral. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think he's he's volunteer. Or would you, you do it? Are you a moderator? Okay. All right. It's not moderator, what? what, what David, moderator, you're a moderator. What a moderator would do. I can do that. Moderator. What well, she? Did, this is her first meeting, so. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, what would they do? David. Okay. What you're would a they do? What's a moderator? A moderator basically just uh, they watch out. You know, see if anybody needs to be called on, or they. Um, if something is kind of uh, is going astray or whatever, and they're basically like, or if they see somebody's biased, you know, if, if one of us are biased up here, then they'd be like, hey, you know, I think you're you're being biased. You know, we need to like kind of watch how we're doing stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, are you appointing yourself as moderator? I'm going to do it. I'm okay. Do it. We need a stack taker. I like that word. A stack taker writes down the uh, <laughs> person's names and to be called on. I can do that. Uh, using a progressive order, so that way the people that speak the least get to go the first. Uh, so you need a notebook and paper. And At all times, I will. I will actually probably have one now in my time. So you get it? Yes. You have right. We also need a minute taker. A minute taker records the information that is transgressed in the General Assembly so that it can be uh, documented and used in the future. And our request that we request that the minutes be posted to the internet within Blazor. Uh, how many? Okay. What time? If we. Preferably somebody that can type it so that way we can post it to the internet easily. Does anybody have a computer or would at least like to take notes? Does, does this have a Facebook or something? Notes. Like, sure. Taking notes? Thank you so much. What's your name again? Justin. <laughs> Justin, thank you, Justin. Yes, sir. Excellent. Um, we could also use a vibe checker. A vibe checker is somebody that basically watches to make sure that we are moving forward in a, in a path. That we're not like all fighting each other, but more so that we are looking to a sense of consensus. No, you're moderating. Moderating is making sure that those on facilitation are, you know, are remaining neutral. I thought the two were the same. No, it's not. no, no, not at all. <laughs> all right, Kayla's vibe checking. And I think we have two. Yes, absolutely. We can have Michael. Michael is vibe checking as well. Thank you, Michael and Kayla. I'll be moderator. I'll step down if I'm making non-violent comments, violent comments, or I'm biased. I promise. So, so Softy is going to be moderating for us, making sure that those on facilitation are non-biased. Um, at this time, because we have a few new people, we're going to go over our hand signals. Uh, we use hand signals so that way not everybody's uh, talking over each other, and you know we got chaos going on, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or clapping or whatever ways we show approval or disapproval. Uh, to show approval, twinkle up. Twinkle. Twinkling up shows that you're you know you're excited, you're cool, that's great. Twinkling down, also known as squitting, shows disapproval. <laughs> if you disagree with something, this is one way of showing it. Uh, if you're kind of in the middle about it, you can you know whatever, it's cool, you know, kind of so-so, whatever, you know, in the middle. Um, if you can't hear somebody and you need for them to speak up, you throw up an L shape. L shape would be louder. At that point, the facilitator, usually I or a moderator, would call for a mic check so that the person, everyone can hear them. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, um, and for those who don't know what a mic check is, mic check is when uh, everybody's going to repeat exactly what you say, exactly how you say it. We do this that way we have a lot of sound, whatever. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, um, what was I saying? Point of information. A point of information is a factual point. Is a uh, is something that is not opinion based, but that is something to clarify. Say, I say we're having a meeting at 5:30 in uh, in 60 Walton. Somebody says, wait. Point of information. The meeting was changed to uh, to 6:30 at 60 Walton. 
Uh, appointment of information does not take precedence over the speaker. It is only called upon when the facilitator calls upon that person. The same is such for a clarifying question. A clarifying question is when you have a factual uh, piece of information, or you're looking for a factual piece of information. Again, not seeking for uh, to express your opinion, but just trying to find out what exactly a person is saying. An example of a clarifying question would be like, hey, wait, I didn't hear, uh, can you repeat the proposal? Or, um, you know, did you say it was at this place or this place? Or something along those lines in general. Um, hey. Your proposal point of process. today in writing. A point of process means that I'm not doing my writing. job. <laughs> <laughs> or it basically means that uh, that the well, the conversation is basically straying from the direction that it's supposed to be going. If we're on proposals and somebody goes in with an announcement about this and that or whatever writing? else, that may be considered a point of process. Then. We're trying to stick to what's going on. If someone's going off a stack, etc., etc., you may point of process them. Be careful with the point of process, though, because the point of process basically takes away someone's voice. Uh, it's only to be used in emergency situations, so let's not abuse it. Did I miss any? Okay. <laughs> if you're really down for something, you fist pump it. Uh, if you're really excited. Oh, also, uh, when we're calling for votes, or not votes, but when we're doing uh, our consensus, uh, I'll basically ask for, you know, for those who agree, disagree, etc. Uh, but more so, those who stand aside. Standing aside basically means that you do not necessarily agree with the proposal at hand, but that you're not going to block it. Uh, your vote essentially does not count when you stand aside. Uh, if you choose to block something, blocking again is kind of an emergency situation. It says that you're so against what is happening here that you're willing to leave the group because of it or that you feel that the proposal at hand does not, still does not, uh, meet the needs or concerns of those that are, that are being addressed within the proposal. Um, again, a very serious matter. Here in Atlanta, we operate a 90% consensus model, uh, which is kind of cheating a little bit, but you know, but it does help us get stuff done. Uh, so if there are, say, 20 people in a group, um, five people stand aside, that means only 15 people are being counted. If out of those 15 people, Three of them block. Wait, there's one. Two. If an X amount of people block, then the proposal will not pass. Uh, we have a point of information. Although um, we're using 90% consensus, anyone bringing a proposal has the opportunity to require a higher percentage. So if you have a proposal and want it done at 100% consensus, you're able to do that. Yes. Thank you, Andy. You have another point of information. Oh, we already did that one. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, so now we've gone over the hand signals. Announcements. Am I missing something? Moderator? Moderator? Are we going to announcements? So we have the pledge, but I don't have oh, yeah. a copy of the pledge. So. Yeah, we don't have a copy of the pledge on us, so. We respect everybody and don't be a dick. All right. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to be moving into announcements, taking stack for announcements. Where's our stack taker at? I'll do it. Okay, cool. So Matt's going to take play, take a stack since our stack taker is making crazy noises over there. Um, <laughs> so we'll now be opening stack for announcements. Announcements are a uh, place to discuss a specific date and time information if something is happening in, that we need to know about. Candy? Amadian? Donald? Yes. Is that Donald? Cool. I haven't run out. Hold on, not yet. We're gonna go through. Uh, we're gonna go oh. through stack first, and then we'll we'll get to you. Got it. Uh, is there anyone else that needs to be placed on stack for announcements? Then at this time we'll be closing stack for announcements. Stack is closed for announcements. Uh, the stack is Candy, Amadian, and Donald. Candy. Uh, okay. Do I need a mic check? Can hear me? Yes? We can hear Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay, Friday at 1 o'clock is the really, really big, really big free Christmas party. <laughs> so, I need for people to donate anything. Uh, donate your skills, your time, whatever you feel would bring awesome stuff to the flea market. Um, if, also, if anyone can provide rides for people, that would be awesome too, because we have a bunch of stuff and not a lot of cars. From where to where? 
Uh, it's in Troy Davis Park. No, it's but here. like where? Rides. Whatever. I don't. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I know I'll probably need some from PC Line for stuff, but um, I'm not sure. People will need rides from the house. So. Here? Yes. We have a clarifying question. If it starts at one, do you know how long it's going to go for? Probably all day. Next on stack. Amadi. Amadi, sorry. Three announcements if I may. One, um, regarding the rooftop garden, things are going very well. Uh, we're having meetings to, uh, Tuesdays at uh, two in the afternoon or three in the afternoon and Friday mo two in the afternoon and Friday mornings at 10 o'clock. The Tuesday afternoon meetings are in the um, our studio at Peachtree and Pine up the road up here. Um, those are organizational meetings, planning meetings. And the Friday morning at 10 o'clock meeting is a hands-on in the dirt meeting. It's expected this Friday we're going to be building some cold frames, a couple of cold frames with high quality glass, um, openable panes, openable so that we get some air in there so that the the seeds don't actually burn before they can come up. Um, everybody is invited to the Friday morning meeting. We'll meet in the R Studio, Peachtree and Pond, and then go up to the stairs to the rooftop uh, garden. Second announcement, mic check. Mic check. check. Mic check. Mic check. 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 I am. I am. I am. I am. Occupy Atlanta. Occupy Atlanta. I am Occupy Atlanta. I am. finish the mic check now. <laughs> uh, by, the bicycle shop is apparently doing well. We've had a couple of good bicycles donated. We've got some hard working mechanics, some good leadership in the bicycle shop, and we're expecting to get more good bicycles and to have bicycles flow through us. Thank you. We have a clarifying question. Where is the bike shop? Yeah, I told you. Oh my god, you fuck you all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, but you're gonna tell me, right? The, the bicycle shop is based is on the, on the ground floor, which is actually the basement from most angles. The, it's on the ground floor of the basement, sir, of the Peace Train building, Peace Train Pine building, and 477 features. Uh, Jonah and Colin both have access to the shop. You can see how they the gentlemen if you want to get access to the shop, work on a bicycle or, or whatever. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay, next on set. Mr. Donald. Um, this is the first time I've been to an Occupy Atlanta meeting. I represent a group, a small group that started uh, actually with the Tar Sands action. Um, at this time, the group has decided to pursue another avenue. Uh, this actually is a national call to action against the Citizens United versus the FEC Federal Elections Commission on the second anniversary of the Supreme Court ruling. And I'm just going to read this. I'm not uh, really a very good speaker. Supreme Court's ruling in Citizens United versus FEC has focused America's attention on the dangerous influence of corporate power in our democracy and the urgency of taking all necessary measures to undo that influence, including amending the Constitution. Generations of Americans have amended the Constitution over the years to enable that we the people means all the people, not just the privileged few. The Citizens United case, which opened the floodgates to unlimited corporate spending to influence elections at all levels of government, has brought home the importance of amending the Constitution to ensure that we the people does not mean we the corporations. We believe that America works best when our government is of, by, and for the people. Although we have different differences in scope and tactics, all of us are united in the understanding that the court's Hi. decision You're on, in um, the United committee? Citizens is that must be remedied by um, amending the Constitution you know what happened with Ron in, court in order today? to restore the democracy as promised I'm of America. We can report on that, but I don't Join know if anyone here would know. National Day of Action on Saturday, January 21st, to demonstrate the growing demand to amend the Constitution, to rein in corporate power, 
and to take action against the Citizens United ruling. Our group has decided that we will have a protest action in front of the Bank America building in Midtown on the 21st, which is the anniversary, second anniversary of the ruling. Um, we would invite everyone from this movement to participate with us to get as much attention as we can to this. I believe, and this is still forming, I believe that this is taking place all over America in a lot of other cities. We're doing the very same thing that we are doing here tonight, to really cut the heart out of the dragon. Most of the problems that we face today that you are out here objecting to, that I deal with every day because I'm an environmentalist, are caused because corporations can now contribute as much money as they would like to corporate to political campaigns throughout our government. And that influence, I think, is being felt today, if you look today at the nonsense that's going on in Washington. So I implore you to please, I don't know the process, but to take this under serious consideration um, because I think it's probably the most important thing that we can do to uh, change the way that our democracy is operating today. Do you have a clarifying question? Oh, okay. Well, Do you have a clarifying question, David? Thank you, sir. Um, thank you very much, sir. Um, might you be interested in meeting with our actions committee, um, seeing what they may have work on, working on this, and maybe coordinating with them to present something to Occupy Atlanta? Yes, absolutely. There's a gentleman staying next to you who's, who's one of the actions well, both committee. sides of you, actually. Yeah, you know, oh, good. Do you All have right. extras in that? Yes, I do. We have Thank another you. clarifying question. Can you repeat you. the time and date that y'all have planned right now? Um, the date is certain. It's January 21st. The time is tentative, um, which would be uh, 10 o'clock. What's the name of your group? We don't have a name. Oh, okay. <laughs> we right, just I'm got started. Do you have a point of information? Yes. Just so you know, the Craftivist has some really cool designs for, specifically made for bank protests. You want really cool designs and things for bank protests about the Craftivists. Well, go ahead. This has been called, and I give them, if they're borrowing your name, Occupy the Corporations. That's what it's being called at the national level. I haven't used that term because I feel that that's your term. Uh, but I do feel that this is that kind of effort that y'all are out here uh, to, uh, to protest with. Thank you, Donald. Yes. Um, at this time, I'm going to request that we open up the circle so that everybody, so that everybody can stand in a circle. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Unless you're smoking, then you're cool. You know. Or not cool, but you know. You're fine where you're at. Um, now that we've got through announcements, we're going to move into committee report backs. Uh, committees are smaller factions of the General Assembly that focus on specific tasks or working groups or et cetera, et cetera. Um, so this time we'll be opening up stack for committee report backs. Yes, Bab, Robert, Daniel. One more. Mr. Francis. Do you have a report back about your court appearance? Yeah. Is there anything to say? Amadia? Oh, they got bombed. What? Yeah, we got bound over to state court, so it's basically all shows Listen, up. They bound it over to state court. Yes. So, so, yeah. Justin is taking minutes right now. Is there anyone else that needs to be placed on stack for committee report backs? At this time, stack is closed. Stack is closed for committee report backs. Uh, the list is Shav, Robert, Shanna, Tim, Lily, David. Uh, Shav? Can we add? Ron? Um, Unclosed. So for Action Committee, we just had a uh, 
meeting to discuss kind of the future of Action Committee. Um, we changed up some of our process a little bit. Went really well. Um, we're going to start having a meeting every Tuesday at 6 o'clock here in the park to, um, it'll be the time that we discuss the act, or decide on the actions that we are going to pursue. Um, so if you have an action that you want, that you think that Action Committee should take on, either come to that meeting or you can email us at action at occupyatlanta.org and we'll bring it up in that meeting. We'll see if the committee decides to go with it. So, um, <clears throat> some actions that are planned coming up right now are um, we've got the really really free market is going on tomorrow. Friday. 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 Um, and then there is on New Year's Eve. There's going to be a noise demonstration outside of the Atlanta City Detention Center. I think it's from 9.30 to 10.15. Um, January 3rd is the next foreclosure auction. Last month was a lot of fun and really successful. You can ask Ron about that. <laughs> but um, we really want to make this month even better and bigger. Um, we're going to try to do at least four counties this month, which are Fulton, Gwinnett, DeKalb, and Cobb County. If you live in a county other than that and you think that you could get a group to go out in that county, please do it. If you need help with like making flyers or whatever else, just let us know. Um, definitely encourage people to do it wherever they are in Georgia, every single county. Um, and that'll be from 10 to 4 on January 3rd. Um, on January 9th, we're doing a rally against the death penalty in Georgia at the Capitol building. It's January 9th at 12 p.m. That's all we have planned right now. All right, Robert. Uh, just to report back from coordinating, uh, notice about the bottom liner meetings. Because of the holidays, the next two weeks, we will be having our meeting, bottom liner meetings on Thursdays. This Thursday will be at 5 p.m. I guess at Peachtree and Pine. So that's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Um, next Thursday is probably going to be at 5 p.m. as well. We'd like, if you're coming to the meeting or you're talk to your committee, please consider agenda topics you would like to bring to the table, things you need to uh, coordinate with other committees on, so that way we can um, we will start the meeting going over the agenda topics and deciding which ones we will discuss during the meeting and then do a report back, so just so you know. Can you come up with specific things for bottom liners, like, like action or outreach, come up with specific things that you want to ask of other committees? Going to bottom liner meetings is to coordinate between different committees to work on actions, to, like to work on events together. So if you can think of something that you specifically want from something like logistics or from legal, from like logistics or from legal or finance, then specifically think of these things and maybe even write down specific like projects or events you want to work on so we can bring them to the table and get those done together. I guess that's it. Shannon. This is a committee report back from legal and I'm going to try and do it without my checking. This is a message from Juliana who could be here. A minister who is an Occupy comrade visited Copper yesterday. He seems to be doing okay. Copper said that he would prefer to stay in jail until his bond adjustment hearing in about three weeks. Will Marshall is going to visit him tomorrow so we can get confirmation of that. Diana Eidson has volunteered to sign Copper's bond. Depending on what Will reports, we're ready to move ahead with bonding him out before Christmas. Copper's next court hearing is Tuesday at 9 a.m. in Fulton County, Court, room C. Everyone who can should go. And lastly, thank you to everyone who sent me copper letters. We know he really appreciates these shows of support. We have a clarifying question. Thank you. Uh, people, question illegal if you have this answer. Can people who don't have, no longer carry a system ID, can they still visit copper now? I believe the answer is no. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do. Somebody, have, we have point of information? Well, unless you have a, a state issue, an ID, you can't, you can't visit. And 
And you have to be on the visitation list. So he has yeah. to put you on the visitation list. To uh, just let, let him know in a letter or have Will um, put you, have, have, have Will put you, tell, tell Copper to put you on his visitation list, and then you can visit him with yes, the ID. With the ID. Thank you, sir. Do we have another point of information? The only two people on his uh, visitation list right now are Will Marshall yeah. and one other person, I don't know, so that's why you should see him. Next on stack, Tim. Hey everyone, uh, for those that, that, everybody know about the Riverdale victory, right? <coughs> you know about it. It is, uh, it is our single biggest media hit since Occupy Atlanta started. What I mean by that is that we got a lot of press, a lot of national press, and out of any, everything we've done, this has been the one like story that's pretty much impossible to make us look bad. I mean, it's just even the conservative media just can't. It's so it's been it's like bulletproof. It's all super positive, um, and it was, so it's just been amazing. So I mean, now's the time to think about how do we take this victory and build and, and build with it. So. Yes. It, it, it's a huge deal. We've also gained uh, Bridgette Walker, who has been really committed. She's going to join our Home Defense Committee, um, and she's been she's been the amazing thing about uh, the, the foreclosure fight is that the owners become their own spokespeople. <coughs> and so when you Google the story, it's Bridgette Walker, Bridgette Walker talking about Occupy Atlanta, wearing a sticker that says I'm the 99%. And so it's just been it's been a really great roller coaster ride, and we actually won that house in like four days. We were there two weeks waiting for the paperwork to go through. We got another house that we're fighting for. We met today with Senator Fort and the family, and we're kind of developing a strategy. It's a lot more complicated. I know there's been a lot of stuff that people are hearing about the house, oh, the church or all this money. We really looked it down and did a timeline. Uh, when it comes down, I just want to kill any rumors, it really isn't the church. It is a chain of some of the most fucked up predatory loans that even Senator Fort has seen. He said he hadn't seen anything like this since the early 90s. And so we're in the process of developing a narrative that's really easy for the general public to understand, and really easy for us to understand, because I know a lot of us have a hard time explaining what the hell is up with that situation. It is a winnable fight. And uh, we're getting a lot of folks within our movement now that are saying, hey, what do we tell people that are struggling? Because I hear folks on the street say, I need help. For now, uh, you know, if somebody really needs information, wants to ask questions, and we need to be honest with them, we're still working on how to help folks. We don't have all the answers. We're not an institution. But the best email to send folks to is uh, action at occupyatlanta.org. You can give out. Uh, you know, my number or Shab's number or Graham or Lady, and we'll do the best we can, but let's not make any false promises at this point. The whole idea is to inspire other folks to be willing to stand up and fight for their house. So we meet tomorrow as a committee. We've also changed the name of our committee from foreclosure prevention to home defense. We want to encompass like renters and, you know, everybody is, we want to do you know, basically just being about defending people's right to live in a sheltered spot, right? So we're meeting tomorrow, Homeland Security. We're meeting tomorrow at 5.30 at Glen Iris. And that meeting is gonna to be to develop what are our next steps? You know, what are the, you know, how are we gonna identify other houses to take? So that's our report. We have one uh, clarifying question, but first uh, I wanna remind everybody that doing committee report backs Please announce your committee that you're involved in, so that way we have it for the record. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tim. Um, I think you mentioned a more complex methodology that can be placed into use, possibly. Might, might this new complex uh, methodology for response to the foreclosure situations be, be used in a, in a non-VA-related foreclosure for other people besides non-VA successes? Or did I misunderstand something? No, no, I think I misunderstood something. I'm sorry. I, I thought I thought this foreclosure was VA related and was using he used a methodology of resolution that was available to her on the basis of this having been a VA loan. No. It was not a VA okay, loan. Okay, I'm sorry to check my question then I had. This is Chase Bank. Okay. Not VA. 
You have another clarifying question? Okay. Yeah. To mic check. Mic check. check. Is this committee? Is this, this committee, committee a subcommittee? A subcommittee sub or a committee? Or a, a committee. Also. Also, also, would it be possible? Would it, would it be, be possible, possible to have the meeting? To have, have the meeting, meeting in the park? In, in the, the park. park. Uh, yeah, we, we, it's not a subcommittee. It's a GA approved committee that was originally called uh, foreclosure prevention, but we decided that to encompass just to encompass renters. We want to call it home uh, defense. And no, we absolutely see the Glen Iris occupation as a legitimate occupation, and it makes the most sense for the Home Defense Committee to meet in that yard. So everybody from the parks invited out. Do you have another clarifying question? Will you be trying to arrange some kind of carpooling for people from the park to get to that house? I think that'd be a great initiative for somebody to try to work on, but uh, no, I mean, I have no, I'm not planning on doing that. If somebody, if you'd be willing to work on it, it'd be great. I was planning to be at the bottom liners meeting, so oh, okay. it's at are the there, same time. Are there people? We have a clarifying question. Thank you. Tim, can you give everybody directions to Glen Iris? Absolutely. Yeah, it's 404 Glen Iris. If you want specific directions, I'm happy to, to write a map out, or or you can call me. Uh, you can call Shab. Um, or can we see you after? Yeah. See me after GA. Absolutely, the, the Glen Iris like address is all over the internet. It's all over our website, 404 Glen Iris. So yeah, yes, yeah. and it's it's an occupation that's been ongoing for two weeks, just as legitimate as any other occupation. Yes. It is lawful. We have, sorry, we had a clarifying question as well. Billabar. Did you have a job? Well, or a point of information. Before any, effort, is there anyone that would be looking for a Ryan? You're saying you're not going. Yeah. Raise your hand if you would be looking for a ride. And my other brothers and sisters in the park, if this is a legitimate occupation. So, so I'll try to see. Do you have a point of information? Um, if you need one, uh, if you want to meet at the park, I'll come by and I'll pick over who, like whoever up. Um, I'll be by. I will come by the park at 5 o'clock, and I do mean 5 o'clock, not occupy 5 o'clock, I mean literally 5 o'clock, and uh, if you're here, I will give you a ride. I have, legally I have four spots over my car, but legally I have a lot more, so if you can pile in, you know, my close spaces, I can get you there. We have one more point of information. If anybody's interested on the point of day and time, so, I mean, I can I can walk with you. There's a nice gentle walk from here. I'd be more than happy to walk in a small crowd. Very very nice walk from, from here to Glen Iris. Right. Oh, oh. See me after GA, please, if you're interested. All right. You're next on stack, Lily. Really? Okay. Uh, I am Lily. For all the new people, I'm reporting back for outreach. So we had a meeting this past Monday. I'm gonna give like a brief overview of what we discussed. Um, we discussed a lot on uh, weed pasting, which is, uh, we had our guerrilla outreach, which was in turn, um, if you want, if you're interested, that's been really successful these past couple weeks. If you're really interested in that, you should come see either myself, Candy, or Kaylin, um, and we can help you out with that by getting involved. Uh, we have also been planning for the fall, I mean for the spring, I keep forgetting, springtime. There's been a lot of outreach with uh, specifically with Georgia State University as well as Georgia Perimeter, we're trying to expand that. But basically, what we have, we really want to hit. We want to, really want to do a lot of outreach to students. Um, students, we we have Georgia State right there. That's thirty thousand people to tap into, so if not a little bit more. And uh, what happens is, um, with the heads of the department, we'll be reaching out with them to actually do. Uh, they're going to do mass emails to people in their department to see if we can set up speaking. Uh, schedules with different students, which has actually been successful with the past two speaking arrangements. I believe we have a list of 100 interested, 100 interested students from that. Nadine has set up a community service, um, a creative form for people to use for community service for our students to actually dock hours. We're trying to figure out which MPO. We have two MPOs in the works in this, one under finance, one under arts and lit. We're trying to get that finalized during the break so that we can have that to get to students come um, springtime. Um, also, 
Kaylin does work with Craptivist. It's an outreach subcommittee. Um, it does a lot of work with guerrilla outreach. Basically, that does everything. It yarn. Okay, that's one thing we do. We do things like yarn bombing, which is where you can go and actually put patterns and defenses on things like which is what we, which is what someone already did somewhere in the city. Stitched a pattern into a fence on a highway on a certain overpass okay. that said, you know, it had a certain message. It had to do with outreach, which is really cool. And um, if you're interested in that, we're going to be doing, someone will be doing a lot more of that. If you're interested, you can come see one of the people I already pointed out. Uh, we also talked about neighborhood infiltration. If you want to talk about that, you can talk to Softy over there. Um, also, let me see. We also talked about going um, and visiting uh, abandoned homes to find out which homes are abandoned so we can actually have that as a resource to tap into and find out by finding out also which homes are abandoned we can also focus on outreaching into those specific communities like Tim said there was a major issue with abandoned homes in Riverdale that's something we should take into note like take into effect we've also been working with things like uh, button making sign making we had screen prints donated um, actually Occupy Wall Street just passed a something within their screen guild basically allowing certain occupations to request screen prints from them, which is something we've already emailed about. Um, that's a big deal. So we really, really want to have visuals all over the city for Occupy. That should be there all the time. Uh, we're working on logo ideas, on homeless outreach, um, and also new ma like new modes of communication efficiency, uh, trying to figure out ways for people, like I guess you could say for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Accessibility, that's a big one and also patches and stickers. So these are all things we're working on. If you have any ideas for this, please see either myself or Matt, or any of the people, or Kaylin, or Candy, or even Jonah. Um, and we have outreach meetings Monday and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. in the park. And this, the, this week it's gonna be at four, right? Yeah, this week it'll be tomorrow, it'll be at four. Tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow at 4 p.m. here, weather permitting, if not here, then at Peachtree and Pine. All right, David. Point of information out that you're referring to, but I seem to be referring to a friend of mine named Big Softy, not Salty, but Big Softy. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'll do these off for a second. I'll think about Tyler Dirt. What, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you Nothing. say? Nothing. <laughs> yes, that's Big Softy over there. Okay. Thanks for that point of information, David. Softy! Alright, David, thank you. Um, committee report back. I'm only re kind of repeating this because several people were not here for the announcements. Um, uh, rooftop garden is doing very well. It's expected Friday morning we'll be making cold frames, uh, some high quality glass and wood and some nice quality uh, 